Number 10. Luisa Strina. Luisa Strina is a Brazilian art gallerist and art collector of Italian origin, born in 1943 in Sao Paulo, Brazil. Her gallery, Galeria Luisa Strina, is the oldest contemporary art gallery in Brazil. Opened in 1974, the Galeria brought the works of American pop artists Jim Dine and Andy Warhol to Brazil for the first time and introduced exponents of the new generation into the market such as Leonilson, Sildo Meyeres, Tunga, Antonio Diaz, and Valtercio Caldas. Strina was also the first Latin American gallery to join Basel Art Fair in 1992. In the 1990s, Strina started to work with a group of emerging Brazilian artists, Alexandre da Cunha, Fernanda Gomes, Marepe, amongst others, who are internationally renowned today. Over the 2000s, the artist roster was expanded to incorporate a new group of Latin American artists such as Carlos Garajizoa, Jorge Macchi, Pedro Reyes, and Gabriel Sierra, as well as some leading female contemporary artists include Leonor Antunes, Laura Lima, Renata Lucas, and Cynthia Marcel. In the last decade, Galeria Luisa Strina has consolidated its trajectory with the representation of influential names such as Alfredo Jarre, Anna Maria Maiolino, and Robert Rauschenberg. Number 9. Almi Resch. Almi Resch is a French art dealer and owner of the eponymous Contemporary Art Gallery. Early in her career, Resch did provenance research for Parisian auction houses and began her career as a gallerist with her second husband, Cyril Putman, opening a gallery in the Marais in 1989, where they presented a single work by James Turrell, who did not have a European dealer at the time. Alongside other galleries, including Air de Paris and Galerie Perrotin, Resch opened her own gallery on Rue Louis Weiss in the 13th arrondissement in 1997 as part of a city-sponsored initiative. At the time, she worked with artists Ugo Rondinone, Joseph Kozuth, and other artists with minimalist and conceptual leanings, including John McCracken. In 2006, the Parisian Gallery moved to a larger two-story space in the Marais district before launching its current space in Rue de Trouen in 2013. In 2008, it opened a second gallery in Brussels, followed by openings in London, New York, and Shanghai. Today, Almi Resch represents numerous living artists, including Alan Jones, Jeff Koons, Wagen Spann, Peter Perry, and Franz West, and also manages various artists' estates, including Gunter Fork and Anthony Tapias. Number 8. Sadie Coles. Sadie Coles is a prominent figure in the contemporary art world and the founder of Sadie Coles HQ, an influential gallery that has left an indelible mark since its founding in 1997. With its headquarters in London, the gallery has evolved into a dynamic and influential space, showcasing a diverse range of contemporary artists from around the globe. Over the years, Sadie Coles has managed a roster of exceptional artists, both past and present. In the past, the gallery represented renowned artists such as Sarah Lucas, Damien Hirst, and Angus Fairhurst, who were key figures in the Young British Artist Movement of the 1990s. Today, Sadie Coles continues to nurture and promote contemporary talent, collaborating with artists like Urs Fischer, Elizabeth Payton, and Matthew Barney, among others. The gallery's continuous commitment to creatorial excellence in its representation of some of the most innovative and cutting-edge artists solidified its position as a leading force in the contemporary art world. Number 7. Esther Shipper Esther Shipper is a prominent figure in the contemporary art world, and her eponymous gallery is renowned for its groundbreaking exhibitions and artist management. Founded in 1989, the gallery has witnessed an impressive evolution over the years, becoming a key player in the global art scene. Based in Berlin, Germany, Esther Schipper Gallery has established itself as a cultural hub. 
artists the gallery has represented in the past include Pierre Huyge, Liam Gillick, Dominique Gonzalez Forrester, and Angela Bullock, among others. Today, the gallery continues to foster the careers of visionary artists like Philippe Parreno, Seal Floyer, Thomas Saraceno, and Enri Sala, to name just a few. Esther Shipper Gallery has expanded its presence globally since its opening, and today has three gallery spaces in Berlin, Paris, and Seoul. Number 6. Barbara Gladstone Barbara Gladstone is a prominent figure in the art world, renowned for influential gallery Barbara Gladstone Gallery. Founded in 1980, the gallery has since evolved into one of the most respected and celebrated institutions in the art industry. With a vision for promoting contemporary art and fostering emerging talents, the gallery has showcased works from a diverse range of artists over the years. In the past, it has managed acclaimed artists such as Matthew Parney, Cy Twombly, and Richard Prince, and continues to represent prominent names like Anish Kapoor, Ugo Rondinone, and Sara Lucas, among others. In 2020, Barbara Gladstone Gallery merged with Gavin Brown, which turned out to be a great move for the gallery. This merger brought in highly regarded artists like Artur Java and Rikiri Tiravania, adding to the gallery's already impressive roster. Their locations in New York and Brussels curated exhibitions featuring a mix of established artists like Robert Rauschenberg and Yannis Kunellis, alongside new works by Shari Arnashat and Anika Yi. Additionally, the opening of a new gallery in Seoul, inaugurated by Philippe Parreno, showed their expanding ambitions. Despite a lawsuit filed against the gallery for mistreating an employee in New York, Gladstone Gallery remains one of the influential galleries in the New York art scene. The gallery features a fantastic collection of works by such masters as Gerard Richter, Lucio Fontana, Robert Raymond, Donald Judd, and Dan Flavin. Number 5. Atsuko Ninagawa Atsuko Ninagawa established Taken Ninagawa in Tokyo in 2008 as a gallery dedicated to promoting emerging and historically significant Japanese artists in a cross-generational international framework. Represented artists such as Japanese heavyweights Shinjiro Otake, Taro Itsumi, and Aki Sazamoto build upon precedents in Japanese post-war experimental art while developing unique approaches for addressing contemporary concerns. The gallery is also focused on promoting international artists such as Dan Bo, Charlotte Posenenske, and Dale Burning to audiences in Japan. Before opening her own gallery in her native Japan, she worked as an independent curator in New York. Though no longer active in the Big Apple, she brought New York's art world sensibility to Tokyo, as well as the many international contacts she's made along the way. The gallery makes regular appearances in the international art circuit. Last year alone, Takeni Nagawa participated in Art Basel, Art Basel Hong Kong, Miami Beach, Freeze London, and Freeze New York, as well as local art fair Tokyo. Ninagawa is also the co-founder and director of Art Week Tokyo, supported by Art Basel, on whose Hong Kong selection committee she also sits and she is also co-founder of South South, an online community, an anthology, an archive, and a resource for artists, galleries, curators, and collectors invested in the Global South. Number 4. Yoon Sok Lee Yoon Sok Lee, founder and chairwoman of Kukche Gallery in Seoul, established the gallery in 1982 after years of collecting with her husband. Her initial show aimed to sell acquired works to make room for more. In the mid-1980s, a transformative trip to the US exposed Lee to the Western avant-garde, inspiring her to introduce foreign artists to the Korean market. Boldly, she reached out to overseas galleries to showcase their artists in her relatively unknown space in Seoul, which proved remarkably successful. Over the years, Lee brought renowned artists like Ronnie Horn, Ansem Kiefer, Louise Bourgeois, and others to Korea. Additionally, she dealt in the works of post-war Korean artists, including Ha Chong-yun, Liu Fan, and Kwon Young-woo, 
while supporting the careers of newer Korean artists such as Hagwe Young, Kim Soja, and Kim Hong Sok. Lee's influence extended to the resurgence of interest in Dan Saekwa painting, evident through a major exhibition at the Venice Biennale in 2015. Lee's contributions have been recognized, solidifying her impact on the art world. Today, the gallery has two spaces in Korea, one in Seoul and one in Busan. Number three, Lisa Essers. Lisa Essers, the visionary behind Goodman Gallery in South Africa, boasts an impressive background. Back in 2005, at just 31 years old, she played a significant role as an executive co-producer for the acclaimed film Tzotzi, directed by Gavin Hood. This film made history by becoming the first African movie to win an Oscar, specifically for Best Foreign Film in 2006. At the age of 34, Lisa acquired Goodman Gallery, which was already one of South Africa's most influential art galleries. Founded in 1966 by a female gallery owner, it boldly provided a platform for showcasing black artists even during the apartheid era. Taking on the role of a young gallery owner, Essers inherited a roster of established South African artists, including notable figures like William Kentridge. She set out with a mission to rectify the gender imbalance within the Goodman Gallery's collection. This endeavor led her to spotlight African and international artists such as Grada Kilomba, Kapvani Kivanga, Shrin Neshat, and Candice Breitz. Her collaborative approach to management fostered fruitful partnerships with local institutions, notably CCA Lagos, the Center for Contemporary Art in Lagos. Fast forward to a year after the onset of the COVID-19 pandemic, and Lisa Essertz introduces the South-South platform, dedicated to celebrating art from the global South and its diaspora. Number two, Marianne Ibrahim. Frustrated by the art scene in France, Ibrahim turned to the US, opening her gallery first in Seattle in 2012. Her mission then, as it is now, was to provide a platform for voices from the African diaspora and beyond. As the art world at large and its institutions finally woke up to work made by artists of that diaspora, names like Amoako Boafo, Zoro Poku, Anya Jackson, and Rafael Barontini, her program has been steadfast in its original commitment. After moving the gallery to Chicago in 2019, Ibrahim felt France was at last ready for her and opened a three-story premises in the capital on Avenue Matignon. Consequently, her artists have been accruing market and institutional attention, with Ibrahim herself becoming a permanent fixture at art fair talks and on best booth lists. Number one, Spruth Majors. Spruth Majors came into existence in 1998 when Monica Spruth and Philomen Majors merged their galleries, founded in Cologne in 1983 and 1991 respectively. Beginning with a transatlantic roster of primarily German and American artists, they launched the international careers of Rosemary Trockel and the duo Peter Fischli and David Weiss, and gave artists such as George Kondo, Jenny Holzer, Barbara Kruger, and Ed Ruscha a home in Europe. Spruth Majors has expanded from its roots in Cologne, Germany, to become an international gallery dedicated to exhibiting the very best in groundbreaking modern and contemporary art. With galleries located in Berlin Meet, London's Mayfair, and the Miracle Mile in Los Angeles, as well as an office in Cologne and an outpost in Hong Kong, Spruth Majors retains close ties with the studios and communities of the German and American artists who form the core of its roster. Thanks for watching.